Hello, and welcome back to Love Letters, A Universal Sound. Welcome to this storytelling podcast. And I'm your host, Deborah Washington. And today, we're going to talk about self-talk. Negative voices. When I say the word self-talk or voices or the negative voices, what comes to your mind? What does that mean to you? Do you Talk to yourself. If you do, who are you talking to? What do you talk about to yourself? Let's talk about it. According to TED Education, People who talk to themselves out loud for many reasons. It could stem from loneliness, stress, anxiety, or even trauma. Is it normal to talk to yourself? Yes. You thought I was going to say no, huh? Yes, it's normal. It's normal to talk to talking to yourself, also known as self-talk. It is a normal and healthy part of being a human. It's a it's a natural way to process thoughts and emotions. And people may engage in it while performing tasks or solving problems. Self-talk can also help with self-criticism, self-reinforcement, and motivation. In fact, some research suggests that positive self-talk can improve performance in visual search tasks and people understand to help people to understand instructions. When you're reading something, you talk to yourself, you can understand things better when you're talking to yourself out loud, reading something, instructions and things. I'm going to tell you a self-talk, the healthy way, and then I'm going to tell you the other way. When it comes, when it start being more mental. So here we go. However, self-talk can sometimes be a, the cause for concern. If it's uncomfortable, so if it's uncontrollable, associate with anxiety or depression. Or if the word don't make sense. If you start talking to yourself and you don't make sense, that's that's you should be concerned about that. It could be a symptom of a mental illness. There's a healthy way of talking to yourself. Sometimes when you're reading, you have to read to yourself because you could hear yourself, you know, understand things better. You know, they just like I said, there's there's nothing wrong with talking to yourself, but it could be wrong when it gets to another way, when it goes to an extreme. Let's talk more about that. Also, this could continue with self-talk. It can also be a sign if you are accompanying with an audible or visual hallucination, delusions, or interfere or interferences with daily functioning. Some mental illnesses that are commonly associated associated with talking to yourself include anxiety, depression. Obsessive, compulsion, compulsive disorder, 
PTSD, PTSD, and schizophrenia, avoid negative self-talk. When it gets to like that, when your mind takes you to takes you far on the left side, and things don't make sense, you just angry talking to yourself. Who are you talking to, and who is listening? I'm going to tell you what, how I feel about self-talk and some of my experience with people that I know that was self-talk, that did, that talks to themselves. Let's continue. How to stop negative self-talk. Don't you know it's negative? You know you have to catch yourself because some people just talk to themselves so much that it's just a normal. They just walk and talk to themselves all the time. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, so many people got phones. You don't know if they talk to themselves or talk to somebody on the phone. Maybe some people they don't even have a phone <laughs> and talk straight to themselves and cussing out somebody. Let's go on and let's finish. I'm going to tell you how I feel. Wait a second. I'm going to tell you how I feel. First of all, I'm going to talk about how to stop negative self-talk. I'm going to throw some scriptures in there. Because our Heavenly Father knows all. He created us. He allowed our spirit, he, he allowed conception so our spirit can cause a pregnancy. And we go through that bag of water and gain a flesh body and here we are. He knows us very well, and he knows how to help us from self-talking in a negative way. And again, let's go. How to stop negative self-talk. For the Spirit of God gave us not, does not make, I, and then, <laughs> excuse me, let me put my glasses on, okay? Here we go. I'm trying to read without my glasses, and I know I need them. For the Spirit of God gave us, does not make us timid. Let me say that again. For the Spirit of God gave us, does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. Negative thoughts often stem from fear and self-doubt. This verse remind us that God's spirit empowers us with courage, love, and self-discipline, helping us overcome negativity. I'm going to tell you what I think about people who talk to themselves on a regular basis. And then we're going to let us see what our Heavenly Father uh, has to say about self-talk in the scriptures. And I want you to remember that all help comes from the Lord thy God. I notice some people that I know and some people that know other people that told me that this there was a person, a young person, that talks to herself all the time. And her friends talk to themselves too. But she talks to herself everywhere, every day. The person talks to himself and be arguing and fussing and cussing. Cussing out someone that did something to them five years ago. Still angry with the person that did something to them five years ago. And when I seen it, I said, well, who are you talking to? And then the person stopped talking. And then finally, we was able to talk about it. You know, I got a chance to question that person. When you talk, who you talk to? They said, don't worry about who I'm talking to. I'm just talking to myself. 
I'm just talking to myself. Am I bother? I'm not bothering anybody. Just talking to myself. And, uh, you know, but I seen that person was always talking to herself. I used to talk to myself sometime. And then I caught myself because I remember when I was used to talk to myself, when some used to bother me because I was a kid, I went through a lot of trauma. When I was a kid, my sister burned up in front of me when I was seven years old. And my mother left me when I was seven. And I didn't see her for seven and a half years. When I found her, I was 15 years old and pregnant, the villains in the wolves. And when she came back into my life for six weeks, she killed herself. So I had a lot of things I needed to talk about. I didn't have nobody to talk to. But I didn't like talking to myself because I found myself talking to somebody else. You see what I'm saying? My energy was going somewhere else. And when I, when I, as I continue to age, I reading the scriptures and I put all my energy talking to God, the Lord thy God. And that's when I knew that when I was talking to myself, when I didn't know the Lord, talking about any, everything that bothered me, that the enemy was listening and then I was putting energy out there and it was not directed to God. It was I wasn't communicating with God, asking God, why is this happening? Help me to understand. Help me to overcome this. Help me. Instead, I'm talking to somebody that died. A parent, a family member that died, please help me or cover me and do this. Or talking, the energy was not where it's supposed to be. Satan was listening. The enemy and the negative spirits was listening. And keep you going in that rut. Tell all your business. Tell everything. And then nothing was trouble but come your way. You wonder why I get in trouble? Why are troubles following me? Where's this trouble coming from? Well, you already spoke it out. You said it. And all the negative, all the negative spirits listening to you. That's when it comes dangerous. The negative voices. God wants you to talk to him, but you can't talk to him if you don't know him or you don't trust him. So when I see people talking to themselves, I ask them, well, who are you talking to? And you'd be surprised. They don't know. They're just talking to something. But all the negative spirits are listening. That's why you got the troubles coming your way. Our Heavenly Father said, come to him in prayer. Don't be anxious for anything. Psalms 11, 14 through 15. I hope you have your book and your, your pen and paper ready because Every title, every subject that I talk about, I have to put some scriptures in it so it help you to relate to what's going on in your mind, your heart, and your soul, your spirit. That is already covered in the scriptures. It will help you to understand yourself. God wants us to talk to him, and you don't have to utter it. You just talk within your mind to God. It says, Psalms. And these are my notes, 11, 14, and 15. Do not be anxious about anything. Philippians 4 and 8. Have faith and trust in the Lord thy God. You can't trust him if you don't know him. You see, and he desperately wants us to know him. You just can't imagine how much he, because he know he can help us. He can help you. He helped me. And that's why I'm sharing. I'm giving everything that he is the, the truth and the light. 
and the life, eternal life. There's no need to be talking out loud and throwing all that energy out there in the enemy. Those spirits are real. The negative spirits are very real and the angels, it's good angels. Don't you know they listening? Proverbs 15 and 3, the eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. That's your protection right there. There's no need to talk to yourself and be cussing and angry about something that happened to you years ago that you have not forgiven that person or those people that did something bad to you. And you're going to spend the rest of your life being talking to yourself and being angry all the time. Stop it. Put all your worries and trust in the Lord and talk to him. And he says, if you talk to him in private, he will answer your prayers openly. Let's continue to read. See what I have down here because I, I want to back it up with the scriptures. Because God is very able to help your and my mind talk to God in Jesus' name about anything and everything that's in your mind, that comes to your mind. Because I know he loves us very much. Hebrews 2, 18. Hebrews chapter 11. It's a faith. Hebrews chapter 11 is a is a, it's a book that talks about faith. You can't talk to God if you don't believe he's there. And you don't believe he can help you. He's not the devil. He's more powerful, the most powerful force in the whole universe. There's nothing more powerful than true love. And he just really wants us to believe in him so he can come into your life. And change your life. And so that your will, his will for your life will be fulfilled. And what he has plans for you in your life, if you ask him to be able to speak Spanish real good, he will help you because you have developed in a relationship with him. You got to learn about him. How could you love and trust him if you don't know him? Just like you had to learn how to read and write. I say it over and over again. And I will say it to the rest of my life. You have to learn who he is because his name rings through the planet. Jesus' name. What, what, what is this? I hear Jesus, you know, well, I could be this other... I, Take on this another denomination, and it says, you know, worship the, the flower in the mud. This beautiful flower in the mud. Just say that a hundred times until you get tired. And then when you wake up, say it again because you eventually have some peace. But our Heavenly Father is written in Jesus' name. He give peace just like that. Because he's the creator of all mankind, not the flower in the mud. God created the flower and the mud. Everything that's alive, that's breathing. The trees move back and forth. When the wind blows, we're very grateful for the wind is giving them pleasure. The clouds are moving and obeying God. The birds are being provided for. Talk to him. You don't have to talk to yourself and let the enemy be listening to you talk until you start having a disorder in your mind. It'll be a part of your life, talking to yourself for the rest of your life. And you're going to be nothing but angry because all your energy is getting thrown out there and not directed to the true and living God. Let's go into some more 
scriptures, like I told you, the eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. Proverbs 15 and 3. He's compassionate and he never fails. He will strengthen you and help you. Isaiah 41 and 10. God cares for you and me. Thank God someone really cares for me. That would never lie to me. That would never fail me. Peter 5 and 7. God cares for you. Take heart, I have overcome the world. When you, I'm going to say this, give me the scriptures. Take heart, I have overcome the world. John 16 and 3, 33. When those tornadoes and tsunamis coming from the ocean and rain and thunder and lightning and everything, tornadoes, don't you know God knows what's in the heart and mind of people? It could be a whole community, whole community worshiping, worshiping the flower in the mud. We don't know it's the whole community believing in the flower in the mud or uh, voodoo dolls or, or whatever, a statue or their car. Only God knows what's happening in that town, in that community. The majority of the mindset of the people that lives there, then all of a sudden, boom, all kinds of stuff happening right there. <clears throat> right there. And then this person and that person was untouched. Because that person is praying to God every day. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for this moment. Give us a stay, our daily bread, and forgive us. And the, all, all that group of people over there is worshiping the flower in the mud. I'm just using an example. He knows the heart and mind of all people. He does. He created us. Why not get to know him? So you won't be talking bad to yourself. You'll be talking to someone that you feel is listening to you. Don't you know when you're talking to God, he'll let you feel something? Mm-hmm. 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 I know it. I know. God comforts us. So we can comfort others. What do you think I'm trying to com give comfort? Somebody comfort me. Second Corinthians 1, 3 through 4. God will provide a way out. You talking to yourself. God is going to give you a way out of talking to your out there and talking to somebody that's been dead 15 years or somebody that did something to you, you're still cussing them out. Then it started getting too much. It started turning into an illness, a mental illness. Mental illness. That's when your mind is imbalanced. Your mind is not in line with your heart and your spirit. It's imbalanced and it's imbalanced to the way to the left because God is on the right side to the left. And you, you, and then they take you to the doctor and give you a bunch of medicine that really messes up your mind. God can't even get your attention. Nobody home. How are you going to live with God? Because everybody... Uh, we're going to pass through the seeing of death. I don't care how rich you are. Nobody's exempt from death. God wants to have a relationship with him on earth before we get back to heaven. Because we have free will and we don't live long and nobody knows how long they're going to live. 
just because uh, you older, that means you're going to, the older person is going to die first. No, I've seen so many young people go first, clock right on out. And real behind in the phone, homework, don't know God. Never, never open up nothing, never look. They heard the name Jesus. They heard God. They ain't tried. They ain't wasn't interested in learning why I hear this name all the time. I mean, check this out. Who is? And then let your spirit jump. Let's jump for joy. Because, oh, you hit the right spot. Let's continue. But what God do, what he does for your mind. You don't have to talk to yourself and talk to somebody that's not there in front of you. He wants you to talk to him. My grace is sufficient for you. You know what grace means? Give you some more time, give you an extension. Mm -hmm. The grace is sufficient. Where does it say that in the Bible? Hmm. Second Corinthians 12, 9 through 11. He's so able. He's so qualified. He created us. Some people think, where do you think you came from? Just like a mother and a dad, they want their kids to know them. Your children come from you, even though they're not you. You don't know if you're going to have, you gave birth to a villain or a wolf or someone of full integrity. You just hope for the best. And God is not going to make you come to him and make you talk to him. You have to want to. He doesn't want you to be worrying and talking to yourself. It's in the scriptures. Let God worry about your needs. Matthew 6 and 27. Now this person he was hearing voices. Negative voices. And hit someone that was very dear to her. Knocked the person out. This is really close. And I asked her, why did she do that? And she said, voices. And she said, when she hit that person, knocked that person out, that didn't do nothing to her. The negative spirit didn't like that person, told her to hit him. And when she hit him, she knocked him out and she said, the voices stopped talking. They became quiet in her head. And then she knew what she did was wrong. She said, that person didn't even deserve that. And what's so dangerous is that that person that hit that person listening to those voices wasn't on no type of drug or alcohol or nothing, clear headed. But the person's been talking to herself for many years. Then you start listening to the voices. Schizophrenia, voices in your head. That's a form of mental illness. And then when you go to the doctor and get checked out, they put your medicine and make it worse. But the help is right there knocking on your door. Your help is still knocking on the door. Talk to me, my child, and I will give you rest and heal your mind. Set your mind free. So... I did write another song. What is your day like? Do you know what your day is like? Did you talk all, Did you talk to yourself all day long? People think you talking on the phone, huh? <laughs> People think you talking on the phone, but you really talk to yourself all outdoors. 
hold a long conversation, cussing and fussing. Stop that. Run to your Heavenly Father that loves you so much. He really does. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click that notification bell button so you can be notified for the next uh, episode and leave a comment if there's anything you want me to cover. Because I've been in the world and I pay attention. Are you paying attention? Your life is all you have here. Be resurgent. Change from where you used to be. Because I know you don't even like the way you, you used to be. Change to be the better. The, for the betterment of yourself. And leave our Heavenly Father, the God of love, in the equation. And you will live the best life possible because he will protect you, lie, lead. Okay. He will lead, guide you and protect you and direct your life and help you to be the best you you could be. <clears throat> People with money, if they want to sing and dance, <clears throat> they get help. To people to help them to be the best singer or the best dancer or the best actress they can be. They have help. God is our help. Don't you know he's the greatest help that ever could be? He's the greatest help there is. I'm so glad I found him. He's not the devil. So stop talking to yourself. Write your thoughts down in a journal and talk to God. In Jesus' name, amen. comes down, down. And when I talk to him From our Heavenly Father, the God of love, who truly loves you, you shall be blessed. You can